Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, with a score of over 8,000, I bring you straight from My Hero Academia, the League of Villains. All of them within one awesome live wallpaper. And as for the home screen, it's super simple. Perfect for new beginners. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here they are, the League of Villains, with each one with their own unique animation. Now with this setup to match the colors of the backdrop, I've gone for some super vibrant icons. And keeping things simple with one clean KWGT widget, a date indicator in the top left. Now because there are a ton of characters on screen, I know it looks like there's not enough space for any more icons, but that's not entirely true. You can simply turn your app icons invisible using my trick in the top right corner. All you're going to need is simply Nova Launcher. And speaking of Nova, for this setup, you're not only going to need Nova Launcher, but also KWGT. And to complete the look, I'll be using the Hex Installer for system-wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars, then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout, make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 12 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels, increase your icon size as well as disabling your home screen dock. Now that we have that out of the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to give us this vibrant look is the unicorn pack. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Next up, this awesome KWGT widget. Matching the look of our icons, this simple date indicator and analog clock. Straight from the midline pack, ML07. So let's start by loading in the KWGT layout to our home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. And to push our widget right up against the home screen margin, long press it and toggle the padding option. Now within KWGT, we want to begin by adjusting its size so it better fits our canvas. To do this, we're going to head to the layer tab. Here, we want to select scale by using the tick boxes and then hit the calculator button in the top right of our screens. Now, as we change the scale, we can visually see the change on the screen. For my screen size, I've gone for a scale of 56.7. After which, let's wrap things up by making that black text stand out on our backdrop. For this, we simply want to head over to the global tab and change the color black to white. And before we leave, make sure to hit save. And wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. 
See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.